So I seen this video yesterday on somebody else's Twitter. This is not originally my video. This is somebody else's video. I stole this off of somebody else's Twitter. This is not my video. I'm not recording this. So just to let you guys know. But I'm going to play the whole video at the end after my commentary. But I just want to put my two cents in here. In this video, it starts off with the guy and about three police officers trying to subdue him and this guy is he's on the ground he's trying to get up a little bit but you know the police is outweighing him so he can't really get up and also if you notice in the film his they, they tell him you know get your hand out your pocket you know it's his left hand you'll see it when he'll swing it back up and also in this his cousin, the lady in the all red with the cap on her head, uh, that was his cousin. And she was just saying, you know, what happened? And the police were saying, you know, we don't have time, you know, to explain ourselves. Now, the guy that's recording this, the whole time he was saying, hey, uh, just stay still. Um, They're going to tase you, bro. Just, just stay still. You know, if you ain't do nothing, you good. Now, at the end, what the guy was saying, the guy that was recording it, he was walking out the store. This store looked like it's off of MLK and Bay Street. Um, like at, it's at that convenience store. Now, I don't know what's up with that broken glass. I don't know if he had something to do with it, if it was an altercation with the police or whatever. But basically what the guy that was filming it saying was he was walking out the store and the police, one of the police officers was like, hey, uh, come here, let me talk to you for a second. For a second. And he ran off and they, well, they eventually caught him in that same parking lot. And, you know, basically all the time, the guy that was recording just telling him, hey, uh, just don't move. Stop moving. Now, a lot of times, Savannah Chatham police, they have, they search for a lot of people out in the street because a lot of people in Savannah have warrants. I mean, there's a lot of people in Savannah that's being looked for, for, you know, from petty warrants to, you know, out the robbery warrants. So... A lot of times, police might stop you and just might ask you something. Hell, um, I remember when I was living in my old neighborhood, police would ask me, um, cause I was like, I was standing on the corner, cause my corner was like, well, my house was standing on the corner, and I had a police officer. He rode up to me, was like, "Hey, do you live here?" I was like, "Yeah, you know, this is my house. I can show you my ID." He's like, "Oh no, you know, okay." But the point I'm trying to make is. If you're ever stopped by the police, black, white, Latino, Asian American, whatever your race is, this is for everybody. Just comply with the police. Stop what you're doing. Don't do anything else. Just answer what they, what the police officer is trying to give you. Don't you don't have to answer answer questions that's above and beyond. You don't have to go in extra detail. You know, just tell them the basics. You know, tell them what they need to know. And I don't know the whole situation. I just know what I seen off of this video, but it could have went worse because what the lady was saying, get get your try to get your hand out your pocket, cause uh, you know just put your hands behind your back. I don't know if he had a warrant out on him. I tried to look up information about this, but there, I couldn't see any names. But what I also want to just say is just you know just comply with the police. I mean. I don't know the situation. I don't know if he had a warrant out on him. Maybe he did. Now, if he, if he had a warrant out on him, that's a whole different story. But if he didn't have a warrant out on him, okay, let's just say the police was stopping him because he fit the description of something, of somebody breaking in a car or whatever. If you just answer the questions that the police are giving you, you know, you know, it's, it'll be an easy day for you. I mean, sometimes you got to know how to talk to police and play it cool me for instance i don't like police at all I, I mean i really don't but at the same time i tolerate them to an extent you know like i don't want to be that's like that's kind of why like i don't want to be downtown a lot because it's a lot of police in the area a lot of undercover police a lot of people don't know but it's just you got to know how to conduct yourself when a police ask you something even if they even if you feel like the police got the whole situation wrong you can't fight it against the police officer you got to fight it in court and 
as, I mean, and if you feel like the officer did a bad job and you, then you feel like the officer was in the wrong, take it to court. You can win. You know, you can't win on the street. You know, you can't fight three police officers. Cause, I mean, how, how you going to fight poli three or four or five police officers and you just one guy? Yeah, you might be strong, but eventually they're going to try to put you down one way or the other. And the other way is getting killed by the police officers. I mean, we all seen what's been going on with that. And you just really got to know when to play it cool. I mean, there's been a lot of times when police rode by me and, like, I had, like, half a blunt in my pocket. I mean, there's been times where they came up to me and started asking me questions about something that's unrelated. I'm just, you know, blowing it off. You know, you got to know how to talk to them. You know, you can't talk to them all type of ways. You know, and this is coming from a guy that don't like police officers. I really don't because of my own personal reasons, but that's another story. But, you know, if you ever get the chance, well, not saying that you should be awaiting this chance, but if you ever is in the situation like this guy is, just just give up, man. I mean, if they about to arrest you, I mean, there's no need for you to try to toss and turn and say, you know, you're innocent. You can beat it in court, you know, don't let them beat you in the street, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can always be in court. You can hire a good lawyer. You can, and if the lawyer can find something, and you know, you can you can always beat this. Even when I got arrested, when I got arrested, I got pulled over. One police officer came, and then like two other police cars came. So I was like, okay, well, whatever happens, shit, I'm outnumbered. I can't win. And then when they finally arrested me, they pulled a taser on me. But even though I wasn't uh, resisting anything, they just pulled a taser on me. They didn't. Uh, shoot me with a taser but you know you gotta know when to give up man i mean when you outnumber you can't you can't win like that especially when you're going against a government official so i, I just want to put my two cents in here maybe you think um my opinion about it is wrong maybe you think it's right but get in that comment section let me let me know what you think about it i'm gonna play the whole video for you guys after this but i just wanted to put my two cents in here I'm Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News and I'm out. Yo, don't make them do nothing, man. Hey, hey, hey. hey, it don't matter. Don't make them do nothing, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter what you're doing. Don't make them do nothing, bro. Just chill. Just chill, man. It don't matter, bro. Just, just, yo, just relax. Just relax, bro. Yo, just relax, man. Relax. Get back! I'm not going to have a match with her. Okay, we got time right now, okay? I'm not going to have a match with her. I'm going to have a match with her. Yo, just chill, man. Hey, 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 get out of your pocket! Get out of your pocket! Send the fuck out of your pocket! Keep your head out of your pocket. Ow! Nene! Drop whatever it is! I'm going to get my money. Nene, I'm going to get my money. Nene! Nene! Man, they're gonna have to, man. Listen! Yo, you gotta chill, man. You gotta chill, dude. They're gonna taste you, bro. Yo, calm down, bro. You gotta chill. Yo, you gotta chill, man. Yo, you gotta chill, bro. You gotta chill, man. Yo, just relax. Just relax, dude. Just relax. Yo, don't taste him, man. Don't taste him. If they ain't taste it. They ain't done nothing to him. They ain't taste him. They walked they out to him. Listen, hey, hey, hey. What happened? He was walking out the store, and one of them cops walked up on him and said, Hey, man, put your hands behind your back. We want to talk to you, or something like that. And as he was walking out the store, and he tried to run, and then they tackled him, man. And that's all that's happening, man. Yo, relax, man. Relax. Relax, bro. All right, all right. Yo, just chill, man. I didn't do anything. Yo, just relax. It don't matter, man. Chill out. It's all good, man. Just relax. If you didn't do nothing, you're good, man. Chill out. Yo, just chill, man. Just chill. Yo.